Hi, this is Jim with Piedmont Therapeutic Massage in the Washington, D.C. area. And we're going to be demonstrating basic Swedish massage techniques. You have your uh, partner set up on the table and the supine or lying on their back position. And you're going to start by applying the lubricant. And when applying lubricant, it's best to keep contact with the person's body and bring the lubricant to your hand rather than your hand to the lubricant. Just provides additional flow and continuity to the massage. The terms that are used in Swedish massage are French in origin. The first technique is what's referred to as effleurage, or long flowing strokes. Effleurage is designed to increase circulation of both blood and lymph, pushing it through the tissues and back towards the heart. And you can see I have the proper stance and I'm using gravity, my body weight, and body mechanics to do most of the work. <clears throat> when doing effleurage or any Swedish massage technique, do not be afraid or concerned about putting too much pressure on your partner. The next technique is what's referred to as petrissage. And again, I have the proper stance, my back is straight, and petrissage is also known as kneading. If any of you out there have worked with kneading dough or working with clay, you can probably better identify with this. There are variations of petrissage which are referred to as ringing, which can be done with the thumbs next to the hand or the thumbs spread out and away from the rest of the hand. <clears throat> it is best to always go back to your basic effleurage stroke in between all of the other techniques that will be demonstrated today. Effleurage is your transition stroke. Next technique is a variation of effleurage, and it's referred to as spreading. And this is done with the palms of the hands, going away from each other, compressing the muscles and the other soft tissue between your hands. This can be done with the palms of the hands. It can also be done with the knuckles or a loose fist. And again, always transition back to your basic effleurage stroke. 